Mental well-being is not taken as seriously as physical well-being. When we first proposed this statement in 2019, so months before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, 43% in the United States agreed with it. In 2021, however, so two years into the pandemic, only a third, 33%, of the respondents still sees it that way. And we observed similar developments in Germany and also the UK. So it seems awareness for mental health has significantly increased here too. That made us curious and we had a look at our global consumer survey data to see how COVID-19 changed the prevalence and also the approach to mental health issues. First, we wanted to know how the pandemic, you know, with its resulting uncertainty, its lockdowns and its social distancing measures affected everyone's mental well-being. And we had a look at which specific mental health issues were more prevalent in 2021 than they were in 2019. In the United States, for example, we can see that anxiety, depressive phases, mood swings and feelings of loneliness increased from 2019 to 2021. Only stress seems to fall out of line and in 2019, 46% of the American consumers stated that they felt stressed. That number dropped to 39% in 2021, even losing its status as the most prevalent health issue to anxiety. Again, we observed similar developments in the UK and in Germany, so we hypothesized that working from home and working remotely during the pandemic has had a positive effect on stress levels. And that's why we looked at that same data for college-educated and employed respondents under 40 only, you know, these young white-collar workers that are most likely to have adopted to a remote work routine during the pandemic. And we can see that their stress levels dropped at an even higher rate, from 47% to 33%. Anxiety, depressive phases, mood swings and feelings of loneliness, they increased for young white-collar employees with the pandemic as well. But working remotely, you know, with less distractions, less time commuting and also, you know, getting the job done with an easier to manage work-life balance, that seems to have had a huge positive effect on their stress level. So while the measures against the pandemic, they were and they still are a burden for our mental health, they also might have taught us some lessons on how to make our work routines more conducive to our mental health. Especially young professionals might value job opportunities that offer remote work. And in a post-pandemic world, that could give companies that you know, successfully adapted to remote work or even partial remote work a competitive advantage and also a real opportunity to recruit talent in a competitive labor market. If you want to find out more about consumer attitudes and behaviors in pharma and healthcare markets, or if you're interested in OTC products, customer journeys, or trends like e-health, smart health devices, and medical cannabis, or if you want to analyze how health has changed during the pandemic in the minds of consumers, please check out Statista's Global Consumer Survey and our survey special OTC in Pharma. Thanks for watching this video and take care.